Hello and welcome to another edition of another book review. This week I'll be reviewing T.C. Boyle's The Road to Wellville. I'll talk very, very briefly about the author, go into a spoiler-free overview of the plot, talk about what I liked about the book, what I didn't like about the book, who I'd recommend the book to, and finish off with what I'll be reading for next time. Uh, I've reviewed T.C. Boyle's work in the past. I reviewed The Terror Knots for the channel. I'll leave a link below if you want to check out that video to learn more about T.C. Boyle. Uh, suffice it to say, he's a very well-established author. Between his short stories and uh, his novels, he's written probably a dozen collections. This, The Road to Wellville, came out in the early 90s, and there was a movie that was made that wasn't particularly successful at the box office, but I think has since come on to have something of a kind of a minor cult status. I've not seen it, uh, but it's supposed to be kind of uh, not a particularly good movie, but uh, has grown in some accord, some esteem, uh, since it came out in, I think, 1994. Uh, but it's about uh, it's about a bunch of things, but it's set in the early 1900s in Battle Creek, Michigan, which has become the kind of epicenter of health food in, in America. Uh, the uh, Probably the main character of the novel is a Dr. Kellogg, who is the inventor of cornflakes, uh, which his brother... Uh, uses against him and steals the recipe and starts kind of the Kellogg's cornflakes that we know today. Uh, but in the process, Dr. Kellogg uh, becomes something of a zealot when it comes to uh, health regimens, and he starts up a hospital uh, called the San, uh, which is short, short for the sanitarium, and he uh, brings in clientele, very rich, wealthy clientele who have uh, probably the equivalent, the 1900s equivalent of exhaustion. So basically any kind of minor health ailment, they come to the doctor in his hospital, something in between kind of a spa and a hospital uh, and caters to wealthy clients. And we find the doctor at the beginning of the novel, he is estranged from one of his, his adopted children and he and his child kind of butt heads as his uh, son comes back and tries to extort him for money. And throughout the novel, we see the doctor kind of dealing with problem after problem that comes up in the in the in the hospital. Um, so that's the the doctor. We also have a character whose name is Charlie. I think it's Osening, who is someone who's come back from upstate New York to Michigan in order to join in on this craze. He and one of his business partners hope to start a health food company that's selling kind of something similar to uh, cornflakes and. Uh, Battle Creek has become kind of the place to be. There's factories everywhere. It's a source of where, you know, due to the rail lines and whatnot, you can get cheap corn in order to manufacture the, the breakfast cereals and things of that nature. And so he's a young man. He's kind of come across the country to do that. He has got some seed money from uh, kind of a benefactor who has uh, known his family for a long time, and so that's what he hopes to do. And then we have... Uh, the light bodies, uh, Will and Eleanor, uh, Will and Eleanor light body, who are this, this wealthy couple who, uh, Eleanor, uh, had been to the sand in the past in partly in order to get away from Will who has something of a pill and alcohol addiction. And, uh, she in the process of that unfortunately lost her child. Um, and she has decided to take Will with her, and they've checked her checking back into the sand in order for Will to get over this ad addiction that he has. He has a, an ailment. We see him at the beginning of the novel. He has an ailment where he is unable to eat or sleep, and he's basically just kind of a nervous wreck. And the idea is for them to go to the sand and uh, to get him better, as well as for Eleanor to get better. So that's kind of the setup of the novel. It's really more of a there's all kinds of plot twists and turn, turns, and it's really more of a kind of a broad, uh, I describe it as very similar to a Coen Brothers, screwball comedy-esque uh, romp. So you kind of have these characters and their, their stories kind of slowly intertwine as the, the novel goes forward. Um, but I thought it was very, very funny. I think that there were some laugh out loud moments in the book. T.C. Uh, Boyle continues to be one of my favorite authors as far as his sentence to sentence work he does a good job of incorporating uh period specific language into the work and kind of period specific insults uh that made these fear characters feel like real people um and i think he does a good job at the beginning of the novel the first chapter is the doctor 
in kind of the doctor's element where he's giving a speech to these people who have come to, who are new patients at the SAN, and he basically does something to uh, convince them to basically never eat meat again because that's part of his treatment is to have a largely vegetarian diet. Um, so I liked all those things. I think uh, it's a fun book. It, it's like I said, it has a lot of twists and turns. If there's things I didn't like about it as much, uh, there's some plot points that felt almost like they bordered on sitcom level of of uh, plot points. There's some things that come up in the book that you're like, oh, well, this is going to be a big deal and it's going to change everything. And it kind of really doesn't. Uh, T.C. Boyle, I don't think, from what from reading this and from reading The Terror Knots, I'm not sure if he's terribly concerned of making like moral points or moral judgments of of his characters and so you kind of are left a little bit with okay well that was fun but like what was the underlying point or message of what you're trying to write and i don't know if he really has one to be honest with you for in reading this i wasn't like okay there's some stronger point he has to make about capitalism or uh relationships or anything so i didn't personally get that message other people may have but i was left a little cold with that and it's not something where i feel like everything i need to read has a moralizing point at the end uh but that I, that I was left a little cold at that. I guess I'll just leave it there. Um, but yeah, that was the that was Road to Wellville. Overall, I really enjoyed it. I think that uh, of the two of the stuff that I've read of him, I, I liked it a, a little bit more than I liked the Chair Knots. I think the book does a good job of kind of balancing the tone uh, between just like Gonzo crazy and being in kind of something of this just surreal world where these like the medical treatments that these people go through for us would be seem like really grotesque and barbaric, but because this is kind of the turn of the century and there are some, some moments where this is just kind of scientifically true to what would have been done. I will say that the doctor himself is something of an amoral character where he doesn't, like he kind of, there's kind of a question throughout the book of this, if he believes in his treatments that they're actually helping people or if he's just blind to the effects of them. Um, and just doesn't care. And so that question kind of comes up again and again. But for for the, I thought it was overall a pretty quick read. It's about 475 pages. I would recommend it to people who like the Coen brothers. If you like the more slapsticky, screwball comedy of the Coen brothers, something like Burn After Reading, this very much felt like in that vein. There's a role-playing game called Fiasco. And this book, in a lot of ways, feels like... T.C. Boyle wrote this in the 90s, so I'm, he wouldn't have been familiar with the, the game Fiasco. But it feels very much like that game in a book. So if you kind of like this idea of these characters getting up to shenanigans and uh, uh, things happening, uh, you may enjoy The Road to Willville. So that's The Road to Willville by, by T.C. Boyle. Next time I will be reading Ask Again Yes by Mary Beth Keen. And as always, if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you've read any other T.C. Boyle that you recommend, I haven't checked out any of his short story work yet, and so uh, I, I may be do, doing that. There's a couple of other of his books, Tortilla Curtain. I think I have The World's End on my bookshelf. But if you have any other T.C. Boyle recommendations, if anybody likes this, you want to throw them into the channel, I would appreciate that. So uh, until next time, bye.